The joy of following God's call comes uh, primarily just from, just from that realization that that's exactly what you're doing, right? Um, sometimes God calls people to really uncomfortable and really difficult situations. But if you know in your heart that that's what God is calling you for and calling you to, then what else could be better? For me to be a seminarian is uh, for me to follow what I think is God's will for my life. And right now that is to, to discern uh, being a priest, to discern that call of what the Lord has in store for me. And after Mass, my pastor, my former pastor, he asked me, Ching, do you want to become a priest? I said, yes. To become a priest is to become a people to serve others, not to be served. Everyone is called to ministry because the Lord has built in us a capacity to love and to share our lives with one another. When we talk about vocation, every Christian has a vocation to, to live a holy life, to love God and to love your neighbor. Um, Every Christian also has a secondary vocation, whether it be to rel religious life or married life or priestly life. And, uh, and when we talk about discerning a vocation, typically that's what we'll mean, the secondary vocation. You're not locked into the priesthood when you enter the seminary because that's not what the seminary is for. The seminary is a house of discernment and a house of formation. If you entered the seminary certain that you were going to become, become a priest, that would close your mind and your heart and your growth uh, to the voice of God and the voice of the church. In the seminary life, we, um, we have the community life. That is the, the most important thing. But I find the sort of the fraternity and the camaraderie of my fellow seminarians is really enjoyable. I think before I went to seminary, I had an intellectual sort of understanding of the importance of prayer and, uh, and the necessity of it for, for a Christian life. But being there and having to spend an hour, maybe two hours, maybe three hours a day uh, in prayer uh, really helped me understand the difference that it makes in, in my life, like from one day to the next. When I'm around people who are joyful, I feel that I'm just energized and renewed and um, excited about going out and sharing our faith with others. Pope Francis's call for the church to go out is really, he's, he's asking us to leave our comfort zones and to, to go into the lives of people, uh, to meet them where they're at, uh, to go serve the poor, to be amongst the poor, to, to look at them in the eye, to get to know them, and to realize that this is where we meet Christ. For sure, all of us, we don't know about the future, uh, and we don't know in the future how the life will be. But we believe that it will keep going on. We are welcome you. I welcome you to see it and enjoy with us about the seminary life. Go forth and serve.